Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. The intention of these channel messages is to help empower you to change your future for the better. So remember to always be brave, love yourself unconditionally and never give up. This is a general reading for Sagittarius from July 16th to the 22nd, 2018. The decks I'm using I've put down in the description box so please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if these messages resonate with you. I'm using the Gypsy Oracle deck just to get a general read of the energies for the week and then I'll do the general tarot read after that. So the first card is um, the Broken Glass which says that there was a dramatic change uh, or there is a dramatic change that is about to come into your life. Maybe there at the, at the moment but something that is completely that completely changes things. It could be a loss. Uh, it could be something, uh, you know, where you move away from, from friends, or, or but something very big, a big change coming into your life. And in the past, you've made some sort of decision. Uh, you know, you reached a crossroads in your life. Uh, maybe something was affecting your health and you've made a change so that, you know, a positive change in your life so that you can um, move on to something better. But definitely a decision having been made that involved something to do with maybe family, health. Um, you're hoping that, uh, you know, whatever uh, this dramatic change that has come or will come or is in, uh, in progress uh, clears away all the confusion uh, that has been worrying you with the clouds card and uh, reveals some sort of secret, some sort of information. So this uh, change that is going to come in is going to reveal some sort of secret or some sort of information that you have been, um, that has been hidden from you, kept hidden from you. And with this uh, revelation of information, you've got uh, good news coming in. So whatever the change is that comes in and changes, brings in information, there's good news coming in and a lot of growth and a lot of influx of uh, happiness and flow and money and, you know, things coming in, uh, um, bringing about, um, you know, a positive uh, ending for whatever. So whatever dramatic change that comes in, a lot of secrets are revealed and it brings around, ends up bringing about a lot of positive change in your life. So I'm using the Tarot Lenome just to give us the general tarot reading. I have shuffled this deck, I'll just cut it again. So the general energies of the deck are, are the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, you've got a lot of financial abundance and you are quite stable, looking to the future uh, very hopefully. And, you know, you've trans transformed yourself and you are in a, in a good place. You've got a good job, uh, a lot of stability, a lot of, um, you know, y your home is secure. Um, so there's a lot of stability in this card. You are on top of your game over here and you know exactly what you want. And, you know, you're achieving whatever you need to. You've achieved whatever you need to achieve. So, you know, in a stable position, a good job, a good um, security. So a card of security with this Queen of Pentacles. And the main situation is uh, the lover's card. So maybe you've got a new relationship with somebody who is the King of Wands, uh, who is, you know, very stable, somebody who's a go-getter, somebody who, uh, you know, very, is a very powerful person. So new relationship starting off with somebody who is very powerful, uh, who knows what they want, who is um, in charge of, you know, their their life uh, to a T. Maybe they're a businessman of some sort, uh, and this may probably end in marriage with this, um, um, you know, with the marriage, uh, the the priest there. So maybe this relationship is something that's stable, that's going to bring marriage or some sort of committed relationship. Uh, in the past, you've been, um, you know, socializing quite a bit with your friends uh, in the past year, uh, meeting new people, going out a lot, uh, you know, maybe you've been dating this person that you're going to now uh, have a committed relationship with and, um, you know, enjoying their company and having a lot of 
socializing going on with that person. You've cut out your past, you've brought in this new change, you are not willing to think about it anymore, and you are trying to move forward. So big radical change coming in the last three months. Um, on your mind, maybe you're thinking about you know, how you want to make sure that you're in control of the situation, that it doesn't run away with you, that you are very determined about uh, putting your energies into this relationship, or you're determined that you, know, you get things done your way. So you really want to make sure that you are in control of the situation. So going into the uh, future is the Nine of Pentacles where you will achieve everything that you want. This is financial security and, you know, the Nine of Pentacles, independence. And with this butterfly, it's a lot of transformation and beauty. And the garden, lots of stability, friends, uh, you know, um, a really good, stable, independent um, life going into the future. So you yourself see yourself as the Knight of Swords, you know, um, Try not to be rushing into things. Knight of Swords generally rushes into things. Think about things before you make you make any decisions, and uh, you know before you you have any arguments with people. Think about what you're going to say, how it's going to be hurting them. Maybe a message also coming into your life quite quickly. Some information, some news coming in that will give you truth, which will clarify a lot of um, things for you and get rid of any confusion that might be in your life with this Knight of Swords. And um, you obviously have, with the Three of Wands, uh, you know, the keys to success. So uh, you have information, maybe this knight is bringing information that will open doors for you. So uh, the Knight of in uh, uh, Swords bringing in new information that will be the key to moving forward and opening doors for you and so that your life can move into a, a more stable um, place. So a key and a key piece of information, make sure to listen for it, or uh, keep, uh, keep an ear for it. Don't miss this key bit of information that will be coming your way. You have been worried about money as well, and you know, you're know you worried whether you're gonna have to use up your own personal um, savings. Um, you know, you're gonna have to go and try and dig out your savings to sort your problems out. So a lot of worries about your money and you know your spending, and whether you're gonna have to go and and uh, use your whatever you've you kept aside for emergency purposes. So you're worried about money there. So uh, cards, the final outcome is the King of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. The King of Cups shows that you know there is financial stability for you. Uh, maybe there is somebody in your life who will give you the money. Uh, so you're getting that money or getting financial advice. Or you could be this person who is the King of Pentacles where you have that money in your hand. So money is coming to you. But either way, I, you know, you shouldn't really be worried about it too much. There is some sort of finance, finance coming in, somebody offering you something, somebody maybe offering you money um, as an aid uh, to get you out, in, out of any financial problems. And it's something that you'll be very, very happy about with the Three of Cups, uh, you know, card of celebration. So, this, so a lot of money coming in. And you know you're celebrating about this money coming in. So somebody giving you some sort of gift, maybe um, you know a loan, could be just a gift. Maybe you get inheritance of some sort, but uh, definitely uh, being very very happy about things. With the seven of wands, you know you are holding your ground. You are fighting a lot of battles. Maybe you're rushing into battles too quickly. Even with this um, knight of swords, might be rushing into battle too quickly. So just hold off. Pick your battles, choose your battles wisely, but stand your ground and stand up for what you believe in and defend yourself in any situation where it doesn't look like things are going your way. Make sure you stand your ground and speak your truth. Don't give up. So I'll just draw three cards from the um, Animal Tarot deck. And these are cards of advice. So it talks about the hermit, which is take the time to contemplate. You might need to go to retreat and go within um, like a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment. So definitely spending a lot of time by yourself, but maybe you need to go out and get, get together with some friends. But you're doing some introspection and you're trying to find out what um, the purpose of your life is and what... Uh, what you should do. You might be considering taking in some studies as well, uh, higher um, learning uh, with this card. But the Hermit is time spent alone and finding out um, the meaning of your life. And the second card is the Wheel card. So um, 
expect a sudden positive change in your life, you can now move forward and make great progress. So the wheel of fortune coming in, uh, showing you that you know your luck is changing for the better and good luck is coming your way. And the last card is the strength card, which says true strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness and compassion. You have tremendous personal power and courage. So draw on your own personal strength of mind, strength of body, and um, you will be able to see yourself through any problems. So good change coming in with the Wheel of Fortune and you know needing to take some time off here with the Hermit card uh, to just contemplate, just have a look at your life situation and see that you're going in the right direction. And with the Nine of Pentacles, there is financial abundance coming in, so don't worry about it. There looks like there is somebody that is going to give you some sort of financial gift that allows a lot of uh, celebration and joyousness uh, coming with, in with that. And try not to rush into battles with the Seven of Wands, but stand your ground if, um, you know, you don't want to be taken advantage of. So um, I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if it has. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.